see you! With the recent release of LabVIEW Community Edition and the Lynx toolkit that comes with it, I've embarked on a project that will slowly be revealed that I think is going to be really exciting. Today we're going to start that project together. We're going to be using an Arduino board controlled by LabVIEW interface to read an analog input, specifically in our case, battery voltage. So let's get into it. For right now, I'm going to be using an Adafruit Metro 328 with headers, which runs the AT Mega 328P at 16 MHz, so it's shape and pin compatible with the Arduino Uno R3 shield and board. You can get this from Adafruit.com, which is easily one of my favorite websites, for about 17 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description. I have it connected to my computer through micro USB, and we're going to have one wire come from the ground and the other from the analog input, zero. Now that that hardware is taken care of, let's move on to the software. First thing we're going to do is create a while loop and create our stop button. And then we're going to go to the Maker Hub tool kit and have it open and the close and then for this we're going to go to peripherals and analog read and what i first like to do is get the error stuff out of the way so whoops what we're going to do is go all the way through here and then i end up usually using the simple air handler and that's that so if we come over here we're gonna have to decide what serial port it is um, usually well for me I'm gonna be using constant but for today I'm gonna do control so we, I can show you we're gonna move the links resource from the open to the analog read on the sub VI here we see that there's a analog channel Again, I'm going to have a constant for my later project for today. We're going to have a control here. And we can see it here. Then we're going to have the voltage. But for this, we're going to go to the front panel. And I'm going to use a waveform chart to display it. And we're going to wire the voltage up to the waveform. And then continue with the links resource back to this. Let's go to the front panel. My uh, Arduino is on comp five, where he did it on analog channel zero. Now sometimes this links toolkit has an error, so to help with that. I sometimes have its connection issues so to help with that I wire an OR here or I delete this that way if it doesn't connect it tells me instead of just running and there we go error 5003 which is a common error still haven't figured it out so just try again and there we have it now it may not look like much because of the auto scaling feature of the waveform graph and because I don't have a resistor between the ground and the analog input on the Arduino, it fluctuates. But you can see here that if we take a AA battery and connect the negative to the ground and the positive to the analog input, it reads around 1.5 volts, which is standard for a AA. And that's it! That's how we can read battery voltage using Arduino controlled by LabVIEW. I hope this was interesting and helpful, and I'll see you next time! See you soon!